this evening here. Temperatures are still warm. 88 currently in Madison feeling like 92. That dew point is at 68 degrees right now. I've even seen some seen some areas with dew points in the low 70s 70s. It is muggy out there as you go through this evening and we're going to see much more of that over the next couple of days. We've got winds out of the southwest right now up to about 14 15 miles an hour. That's also going to stick with us through Monday and Tuesday through the rest of your evening. Temperatures are in the 80s, but don't expect that humidity to go away. It's still going to be pretty muggy through the overnight hours as temperatures only drop to 72 degrees tonight, so not cooling down too much. We'll be partly sunny into tomorrow ahead of some small rain chances, but the big weather story for Monday and Tuesday is going to be that heat and humidity. So now all severe thunderstorm warnings are gone. It looks like that severe thunderstorm watch will be gone as well in the next uh, hour or so. So everything is going all right. We're just seeing some extra clouds because of the system to our southeast and those temperatures are still warm and it's muggy out there. But as we go through the rest of your evening, We'll see a few clouds here and there through this evening, through the overnight hours, and then by tomorrow morning, what we're kind of watching is there's more, more of an active weather pattern to our north right now. I think it's mostly going to stay up there for Monday and Tuesday, but our more northern areas could see a few showers and storms uh, tomorrow morning, and then especially also in the afternoon and evening. I do think that a few pop-up showers and storms will be possible. This does include Madison and areas to the north. There's that chance there. Most of us stay dry. If you do see rain, you'll get some brief relief from the heat and humidity, uh, and then we are dry into Monday night. Tuesday, again, there will be a small chance for some pop-up showers and storms. More widespread rain, though, doesn't return until Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So because of the chance for pop-up showers and thunderstorms with the more active weather, uh, pattern to our north and northwest. There is a marginal risk for severe weather for a good part of southern Wisconsin. That's only if those storms pop up in your area, but I would still stay weather aware through Monday afternoon and evening uh, as we watch that system there. Rainfall totals for this, we're looking at a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch, but then by Wednesday and Thursday, more widespread rain comes into the area. We'll see uh, more rain chances then. Your best one, it looks like, will come on Wednesday, Wednesday into Thursday and Friday, and then a few more rain chances into next weekend as well. But the big weather story, as I talked about, is the heat and humidity tomorrow. 92 degrees, the same on Tuesday. That heat index near about 97 degrees. It is going to feel hot and humid out there as we go through the next couple of days. We're going to be praying for the rain because that will bring a brief relief to that humidity. That's for Monday and Tuesday. 20% chance in the afternoon and evening. Better chance, though, for rain will come late on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday is uh, the first official day of summer. It's the longest day of the year, but of course, we'll, uh, we'll feel a little bit more like summer. Uh, I mean, really right now and into tomorrow. I'm not, I, I don't know how I feel about it. You I, know, only, I wanted it and now it's here and I'm like, uh. I know it's only OK if you're like right next to a pool. Right. But otherwise, no, no yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs>